how prepared is anyone at 17 to become a public figure? How ready was Kate Moss when Calvin Klein made her an icon overnight? The 80s were over and the 90s, to me, represented something different, something more natural, something less flashy. And Patrick Demachier, knowing what I was looking for in print, said this young thing just walked into his studio, took some pictures, and he knew that this is what I, what I wanted. For like two years, I did like go sees and work for no money. I was always borrowing money of my mum. She was beginning to get fed up with it and started telling me to get a job, proper job and stuff like that when I started to work, so. <laughs> it's just as well, I kind of stuck at it and didn't take her advice. <laughs> Kate has that quality of child woman thing, which touches a nerve with, um, with men, especially. Uh, that's that's um, uh, always on the edge a little bit. And uh, you hope to do something that stimulates people, that stimulates their imagination, uh, and that gets notice. Don't you think modeling is a terrifying process that it's like being thrust into the deep end of life? I Suddenly, your whole universe is happening from every angle. And you've got to cope. It's one of survival. It's a serious test of survival, isn't it? Yeah. Well, travelling on your own and stuff when you're, like, 16. No, it's hard. Ever, and moving and living in a different country without all your friends and your family and stuff around, that's kind of difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Courage. Courage. How do you deal courage. with... Um, it's courage. How do you deal with your fame and loss of privacy? Is it a huge deal, or do you get along fine with it? Mm. Uh, I kind of... The press bothers me. Press. Yeah, the tabloids, Bingo. like the gossip, and people believe it, you know, mm. often it's never true and, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, when you work, they're there, so... No. Sorry. And they write anything about you anyway, even if you don't do anything. Oh, 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 oh. I ran out there. Mommy, excuse me, you can't, they can't be my computer. It never occurred to me that anyone would scream about anorexia. I mean, I never, gave, I never thought about it. She is thin, but she's natural. This is who she is, and yes, she's thin, and models should be thin. Their clothes just look better on, on people who are thin, and certainly photograph better. But there's nothing artificial about her. There's nothing, there's nothing fake. How do you experience being a sex symbol? <laughs> I don't think about it. But you you're don't... a sex symbol. <laughs> Hardly. Kind of. Hardly. I don't think about it. Am I a sex symbol? Oh, probably so might you be. No, it could be. I could be like you. Maybe. Maybe like. Maybe like. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I've watched Kate, and I've watched this this thing happen with Kate Moss, it became especially obvious to me how quickly a star is, um, is born. 